He was the best vice president we ever had, but something stopped him from becoming president. Check it out, leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. But that's not what, what I called about, though. No, I called about Henry Wallace. And the reason I called about Henry mm. Wallace is because it reminds me what they've done to Bernie. Back, mm -hmm. uh, Henry Wallace, by the way, was essentially Bernie before Bernie. I mean, you know, he, I, yeah. I think he was the finest vice president we've ever had in the history of the United States. But uh, He was a Republican oh. at the time. He was very progressive. He wanted, to, he wanted to do Roosevelt's five economic things, and, and, yep. and he was against racism. Yep. And the, the big, the big uh, uh, bosses in the, in the North and, and the Democrats in the South pulled it off. They basically yeah. The fat cat got down, fat so cats got rid of him. The the wealthy industrialists in the north hated him because he wanted to raise taxes and and regulate them. And the white racists in the south who controlled the south at that time uh, hated him because he wanted to integrate the the army and he wanted to. You know, oh, he, yeah. I mean, he was he, he was all in favor of just saying, hey, you know, it's uh, we we need to stop this whole uh, separate but equal thing. And, uh, you know, it spoke out against it. And, uh, of course, that didn't happen until the 1950s. And this was the 1930s. Well, there was a good uh, a guy who wrote a book on Henry Wallace, and there's a two-part series on letters and politics that they sh people should listen to because they will say, oh, Bernie, this is how they got rid of Bernie. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. a fix. Well, and, and it happened, didn't, I mean, didn't they go into the Democratic Convention in, what was that, uh, 38? No. Yes, they closed. Yeah, I mean, they went, but when they went into the into the convention, Wallace was vice president, or this would have been 1940, I guess. Uh, and when they went into the convention, Wallace was been, president, and they the, would have been his third or vice president. Yeah, and, and okay, yeah, and they expected that Wallace was going to get renominated, and instead, these guys got Harry Truman in there, right? Yeah, and and that changed history because I don't think he would have dropped the bomb. No, Henry Wallace would not have dropped the bomb. You're right. But he would have ended the war. I mean, the Japanese were ready to surrender anyway. Harry, Harry Truman dropped that bomb oh, not true. to win the war. He dropped that bomb to scare the hell out of Joe exactly Stalin. Right. Um, 